Does this look familiar to you? It happens every day. So this right here is the designated area to charge my son's car. However, when he gets tired of riding his car or he gets distracted or anything else, the car always ends up in the yard. The problem is that car's gonna stay out there for a couple of days, then my son's gonna wanna ride it. He's gonna be upset because it is not charged. So we're gonna put a solar panel on that thing. All right, so I checked my shop and I pretty much have everything I need to make this work. I got some wire, I got a soldering gun, some electrical connections, and obviously a solar panel. This solar panel was meant for my deer feeder, which also uses a 12 volt battery. And I have some very strong Velcro. This solar panel has points where we can attach it. We can probably build a bracket, but I think all we need is some uh, good Velcro and that'll take care of whatever we need because obviously that car is not going to be going very fast. All right, so this battery right now is at 10.5 volts. So let's hook up the solar panel and see if we can get it to charge. So how nervous was it making so many? You shh. Papa. 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 It's hot. Yes, it's hot. Don't touch it. So my boy is here watching me, and I kept telling him to be quiet. So when I started talking, he shushed me. Papa. <laughs> yes. Um, orange, yellow, blue, yes. red. Red, blue, blue, yellow. Good job, Eric. A red. Yay. Okay, so we have it soldered in place. Now we can put this little deal back on here. Look at that, looks professional. I'm gonna Velcro this one to here, and then we're gonna attach some longer wires to go to the battery, and then uh, we should be ready to go. This stuff sticks like crazy. Right there. Okay, um, then these wires need to go to the battery. And this is where I'm gonna make a few of you guys really, really mad because of the wire that I'm using, but that's what I have now, okay? So I don't wanna wait until tomorrow to get some wire, so this is what I'm gonna use. Whenever you're charging the car, you disconnect it from here and you connect the charger straight to the battery. I don't think I wanna connect it to here because then whenever we connect the charger it's gonna be feeding back to the uh, solar panel uh, I know we have the charge controller but I think I'm gonna hook it up directly to this wire this would have went a lot better look at that all right we're gonna change it I'll be right back all right we're back that looks much better Works every time. so it's dark outside now but I'm gonna set it outside anyway and when I get back from work tomorrow we're gonna see how she's doing 10.54 okay so I'm gonna plug it back in take it outside and tomorrow 
I'll check it again. Well, I just got home from work and guess what? It's cloudy. <laughs> So I'm gonna go get the multimeter and run another test. Maybe even with it being cloudy out here, maybe it's still charging. I mean, there's still sunlight, right? Just not, <laughs> not as much as if the sun was out. 11.13. So it's charging. If the sun was out, this thing would probably be fully charged by now. All right, so, so far so good. Keep an eye on it for, hopefully it'll be sunny tomorrow. All right, let's check on the car. It's The car's been out here for about three days now, one of which was very cloudy. Uh, we've had two days with sun, so let's check on the battery, see how it's doing, and uh, we'll know if this has been a success or not. So, uh, as you guys know, we can still take the car up to the charger and charge it as normal however when it's out here the solar panel can take care of the charge if you guys remember it was a 10.54 three days ago and like I said it was uh, extremely cloudy for one day it was raining all day so really we've had two days of uh, Sun Twelve point twenty one volts that's a 12 volt battery so I'm gonna say this battery is fully charged. We put a charge controller in here and I think the charge controller is gonna allow it to get all the way up to like 13 volts. However, um, I, don't, I don't know if that charge controller is really necessary. Uh, I think you can just hook up the solar panel to the battery directly. I don't think it can overcharge it. Uh, however, the main reason I wanna use the charge controller is, a friend of mine told me that there's a possibility that the, uh, during the night while the solar panel is not charging, that it could register as a load on the battery which in turn would drain the battery so it's a very small investment that the charge controller was only like $13 so not a bad investment to make sure that you don't lose any charge so anyway I think I'm gonna say this was a success uh, like I said this is just a simple solar panel I'm gonna put the link to all the parts in the description which in reality is just solar panel and the charge controller and a little bit of wire but it was a very easy installation and uh, we get free power. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. We are Texas Bartomaniums.